So let us now go with our third query. Create a bin size of 10 for the age measure to create a new day dimension to show the revenue. So here our data set contains, you can go to Power BI and see our table which has the age of the people. Okay. So here we have from 18 to 75. Okay, that is the maximum and minimum age we have from 18 to 75. So what we will do? Okay, click on transform data. Click on transform data. Okay, here you have add column. Click on add column. Custom column. Okay, once you give custom column, change it to age pins. Okay. After which, I'll write the formula which we have written previously. If, okay, select age here, select age, select age greater than or equal to 18 and age less than or equal to 27, then I have to group it to 18 to 27, okay. After which, else if, I'll just do not copy paste from the same. Okay. So, you have to use, so it is 28 to 37, 28 to 37. So, the same way we will create 6 bins of the size okay next is 37 38 to 47 48 to 57 then we have 58 to 67 then we will be having else i have to group it to 68 to 75 okay i'll just change those numbers meanwhile you can also change the numbers Okay, 67. So I'll just give the age group 38 to 47, 57, 48 to 57, 58 to 67. So this is my formula which you have to give. Okay, here you have to get no syntax error have been detected. Click on OK. A new column will be added. So if you have any um, changes which you have to do on the formula, just click on this green mark. If you want to delete this particular column, click on this red mark. If you just click here, you'll be able to change the values. Okay, if you want to change something, if you want to change in formula, you can do this. Click on OK. And every time you make some changes in transform data, you have to go to home. You have an option here, close and apply. Click on close and apply, which will take some time to load the data. Once you load, the data is loaded onto the uh, Power BI, it will reflect, the age bins will be reflected on the data pattern. Okay. So, click on close. Age bins will be reflected here. Okay. Click on new. Click on new. Okay. Select a bar chart. Select a bar chart. And drag ages onto x-axis. Okay. Total, that is revenue onto y -axis. So, here you can see from 18 to 27, what is the revenue? Okay. And here it has taken sum of total. So, it, it can be sum of total only. Okay. So, here you have to enable the data labels so that you can see the values and you can change the title. Okay. You can just increase the font of the title and then position. All those things can be done. You can see here. Here it will arrange it in descending order. Previously in Tableau, it was giving in age bin wise, okay, from 18 to 27 was being first and 28 to 37, likewise it was giving. So, this is our graph for age bins. Okay. 
So here also we can change. So here you have three dots which are available for more option. You have sort access. I will sort by age bins. So it will change like this. So as it has been sorted in descending order, you can give it to ascending order. So whatever the graph we have got in Tableau, we are getting the same graph. And who is the highest revenue generating age group? That is 38 to 47. So this is our third query which we have done. 